Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll learn how we can create charts and graphs for our WordPress website for free. Here you can see that I have a chart which displays a sales revenue distribution by product category and a graph that displays the monthly sales performance for 2023. But you can visualize any data that you want using the free version of the Chart Builder plugin. So now let's go and see how we can create both charts and graphs using the WordPress Chart Builder plugin together. So for the first step, of course, you will need to install and activate the Chart Builder plugin. Uh, but to save our time, I have already installed and activated it. And this is how our dashboard looks like. Uh, as said previously, we are going to use the free version of the plugin, so in case you are interested in the pro versions, here's a special submenu uh, so you can click on it and go see what features the pro version offers us. So for creating a new chart, all we need to do is to click on the add new button. Here we can see that the chart plugin offers us various uh, chart types that can be useful for uh, visualizing the needed data, but the free version of the plugin has the following uh, types available, which are line chart, bar chart, pie chart, and column chart. For creating a simple chart, we'll make use of this pie chart. So let's click on it and click on the next button. So after clicking on the next button, this is how our dashboard will look like. But to keep it short, I will show you an already created example. So this is the one that you have seen at the beginning of the video. Here for importing a data, we'll need to choose the manual data source. So here we can see that I have two columns. The first one I've written for product. Of course, you can change it, write the, your desired uh, text here. Uh, and the second one is for a percentage. Again, we are free to add any da data that you need. In case you uh, need to add some extra roads, um, you just click on the add row button and the system will uh, give you the ability to add as many rows as you need. So let's add an example here, let it be food, uh, let's change the numbers here, let's make it 15 and this one 10 and for previewing all the changes all we need to do is to click on the preview button. So here you can see that our chart is already updated. So uh, besides this, um, besides adding the manual data to your chart, you will be able to change the settings of it. For example, if you want to add chart description or change the chart author and so on. Uh, if you have special desires connected to the style of the chart, the chart plugin allows us to customize the uh, customize the design based on our wish. For example, here you can change the width, the position of the chart, uh, font size, and so on. Also, here we can see that we have a special pie settings which is responsible for uh, the settings connected only to these uh, chart type. Uh, so you can change the degree of chart rotation, uh, slice border color, and so on. So if we're done with the chart, uh, let's click on the save and close button and create our graph together. Here again, we'll need to click on the add new button. So here we can see that we have line chart, bar chart and column chart and all of them can be used as a graph. But for this example, I will choose the bar chart. And again, I will show you on an already created example. So here we are. Uh, this is the already created graph. So here you can see that I have three columns available. And as in the charts, uh, you can add row as well here. But uh, the bar graph allows us to add a column as well. For example, if you have another data that you want to be shown in your, gra uh, in your graph, uh, just write it here and it will be displayed. For example, let's write the... Uh, the income let's say and write a number here for example let it be 5000 and by clicking clicking on the preview button we can see that this new data is already updated 
so I can say that this is the only difference between the charts and the graphs uh, that I have created. Uh, so you are free to add as many rows, uh, as many columns as you need and display your data for free. Uh, also, if the bar chart for some reasons are not convenient for you, you can change the uh, types here and see uh, how your data will look like, for example, on the column chart or on the uh, line graph. The available features are the same. Uh, here again, we have a special uh, submenu which is responsible only for the line settings. Uh, here we can change the opacity, uh, the focus target, and so on. So I guess that's all for today. Uh, I hope this video was useful for you. In case of any questions, do not forget to write them on the comments section.